Chris, I think I broke your father's camera. What are you talking about? The screen's black. Is the cap on? No, I... Fuck. Yeah. How bad. Chris, how do I end up behind the camera? Well, there's two of us. And one of us is being in front of the camera. And since that's me, that leaves you behind the camera. It's called a tripod. Once you see the both of us on the screen, the focus is on the park, not us. Chris? I think the park's down there. We use the trees over there. It's the magic of editing. Chris, I don't mean to be a pain in the ass, but it's goddamn cold outside. You ever plan on picking somewhere to stand? Stand over here and you stand wherever you want. Chris, remember that night with um, those two girls? What was it? They, they, they licked their lips and... I remember what night you were talking about, but if you remember well, I woke up plastered and no pants on. You're kidding me. You kept this picture. It's the only memory I have of that night. That is the gayest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, please tell me you're checking the time enough for a text or missed call from her. It's 4.45. Is that good? We are here today at Park Lausanne. And as you can see, the place has not been kept very well. A lot of problems grow up near the area as you can see. There's a soccer park, you know, kids live near this area. You want to have a good environment. And here we look and there's a chair right in the middle. Would you want your kids to up in this neighborhood? I know I wouldn't want mine. over the sand. But if your child wants to play barefoot, he's going to cut all over his feet. The slides are falling apart, they're all dirty. There's graffiti written all over them. I just did 20 minutes walking around in the fucking cold and, and look at parks with beer bottles. Uh, you wanted to get wasted, not me. So what do you think about the soccer field over there? That's a pretty, I, always had, I always had these great ideas. Let's go. Yeah, you always had these great ideas. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Evening, gentlemen. Uh, I hope you guys are comfortable. It's the best I could find. Chris, where are we? See this? If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna cut your fucking tongue out. And that goes for you, too. What the fuck do you want? So, I was just about to get to that. So, you two guys are friends? Yes, sir. For how long? Since elementary school. A long time. Do you guys trust each other? With our lives. But what does that have to do with anything? What did I tell you? Did I not tell you to shut the fuck up? I'm the one who's asking the questions here. So, do you think he trusts you with his family? I'm positive. What makes you so sure? What does it matter to you? Okay, so you guys trust each other with family. What about girlfriends? Do you guys got any? You still. Used to. What happened there? She cheered on me. With who? I never found out who it was. You know, 90% of the time, it's usually the best friend. So, did you fuck her? No. He's my best friend, I've never seen like that to him. Are you lying to me? I have no reason to lie to you. You know, in situations, people lie, say that they're not lying. Usually when I have this in my hand, the truth comes out. So, I'm gonna ask you again. This time, be honest with me. Did you fuck her? No. Okay. Well, till I get the truth. Just tell the truth. I don't care anymore. Just don't want to die. I think you should listen to your friend. I didn't fuck her. It's not fucking worth it, man. I'm not doing this. What the hell are you talking about? Chris? What the hell is going on? What's the matter with you? Chris, what the hell's going on? Why don't you just admit you had sex with her? Is this what it's about? I didn't touch her, man. I swear. It's over. I had enough of this shit. What the fuck's the matter with you? You wanna fight me? Come on, let's do it. You tricked me into thinking I did something to you. I'm gonna let him go, and if you try and stop me, I'll... You'll what? Help me. Help me. Thank you. Help me. Help yourself. 